Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of solar work to the system here. Yeah, so today we got an auto transformer. I hung this up a while ago and never got it hooked in. Uh, this is the 100 amp one and we're going to tie it into the Quattro. Now, going forward, I do plan on upgrading this to a bigger one and maybe put two of them in so we got to get this tied into here and then this tied into this and with spring just right around the corner it's time to get this inside stuff done so that when spring gets here i can get some outside stuff done we'll pull this cover off here and take a look at the inside of this thing flip this around and take a look right here we have our power coming in here we have our power going out you can also use this as a step down so you could go from 240 down to 120 by bringing your power in here and then your power coming out here got the big coil up here a few LED lights 100 amp circuit breaker and then this is your ground here one of the issues i've ran into with this is to get a inch and a quarter fitting in here <clears throat> it's not gonna fit so you either need to go down to one inch or make the hole a little bit bigger i mean it's not very much I'm going to fiddle around with this for a little while and see if I can get my conduit ran from the auto transformer over to the breaker box for my wiring. Alright, it took me about 10 minutes to make that hole a little bit bigger and kind of got my conduit in there going over to the panel. I got to unhook this wire that comes from the inverter and put that in here and then run my wire. And that should be good. Hey guys, before we get back to this, if this is the type of content that interests you, please subscribe. Throw me a like. I'd appreciate it. I really like it when uh, people give me likes to the videos because that just helps me be motivated to do this. I do plan on over the summer trying to get a solar video out every month uh i got lots of plans i don't know if i'm gonna get to them or not but we'll see what happens so let's take a look at this Two forty-three, and we got 119.9 and 126 all right guys so that's really common when you do an auto transformer like this when you're only feeding in 120 into the into it if I had two inverters, then it'd probably be closer and it'd balance, you know, be be more even, be more balanced. But I mean, it's it's just off a little bit, so it's 
not anything to be worried about that's just how these things work so with everything on I'm going to show you here just how I wired it so I got my hot and neutral coming out of the inverter here that comes in here to my hot and neutral it has one more spot for another hot and that's if you're feeding 240 into it but we're only doing 120 we're making 240 got my two hots coming out that comes down comes up goes into my main breaker that's uh 240 like i showed you and then my neutral ties in with the neutral over here comes in and then i have a ground that comes off of the ground here and that ties all the way back into the main panel for the house all right guys got all the covers back on tightened up and it's been a couple of weeks since i started working on this so i'm just finishing it up now everything's been running really good we got the 3000 watt quattro feeding the auto transformer we're making 240 volt feeding the sub panel that feeds my generator transfer switch over by the main panel so the next video we're going to start using the 240 out of this as a dump load for when the solar gets the batteries charged up to heat water so we'll see how that goes i think i have it figured out so that it'll work we're gonna have to do a little programming in the quattro but this is all, all rocking and rolling. The only thing I'm not really, really uh, liking is the looks of my conduit, but it works. And yes, I know that a, the 3000 watt Quattro isn't really enough to be running the water heater plus other loads, but if I can get get by for a little bit the plan is to upgrade this so we're gonna get that put in it'll help me to understand how to program this so then when i get the different one with doing the solar to me it doesn't make sense to just throw a bunch of solar at something if your house isn't efficient so with the upgrades I've done to the the solar system, I've also been doing upgrades to the house, you know, like the outdoor wood boiler, the dryer. Those were two really big ones because, you know, an electric dryer uses five, 6,000 watts every time it runs. And now we're down to like 600 watts to dry a load of clothes the home efficiency side of it to me is just as important as you know having a good reliable system that's why i go with blue uh the victron stuff they're good high quality uh equipment and <clears throat> if you're interested in checking some of this stuff out use the affiliate link for signature solar down below and they can get you hooked up with Victron Blue and one of the other things that I did right off the bat was I put in the Emporia view that goes in the breaker box I mean it's it's really helped me to identify the the areas that I need to address as far as my power comes on consumption and be able to take a look at different things to get my power usage down thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one